Charlie Cunliffe, Gen uh, Jennifer Drive Lake with New Jersey. Mr. Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Committee Men, good morning and happy new year. As you begin 2010, I realize that it will be a very challenging year for you financially. While 2010 may be the year some industries turn the corner on this record recession, 2010 may be a day of reckoning for many municipalities and states throughout this country, and Lakewood is no exception. I know you are faced with declining income, a lower tax collection rate, and an onslaught of tax appeals compounded by reduced state funding. No one takes lightly the problems you face or the position that you are in. Under that scenario, I would like to address our Lakewood EMS department. When I served with you, I was in favor of outsourcing only when it made sense. During my 12-year tenure on the committee, the concept of outsourcing the EMS department presented itself a few times. But we, as a committee at that time, always resisted that choice. I ask you today to again resist that choice. As someone who has been touched directly by the excellent service and compassion that the department provides, I ask you not to take away our Lakewood EMS department. I know many of these people, and I know you do also. This is not just a job for them. It's a calling. It's a life's passion. Before the state enacted an inane law which prevents those professionals from volunteering within the town they work, our EMS staff not only worked here in Lakewood, but our EMS staff also volunteered countless hours here in Lakewood. As I said, I've been touched by their professionalism and compassion. In the middle of the night, my wife placed a 911 call because I was experiencing extreme chest pain. Who came to my aid? Lakewood EMS. In 2001, I was in a very severe auto accident. I was hit broadside in the driver's door and pinned in my vehicle. I suffered head, neck, and lower back injury. Again, who came to my aid? Lakewood EMS. And they used the jaws of life to extricate me from my vehicle. Many of those folks are here today. So, what is that service worth to me as a resident of Lakewood? It's priceless. In real terms, that penny on the budget is worth every penny and a thousand times more. I would gladly temporarily do without some other municipal services, programs, events, and celebrations while we together go through this painful recession. But please, do not take my EMS service away. I ask you to put this action on hold and to withdraw the RFP while other cost-saving options are explored. But again, as a taxpayer of Lakewood, do not take this local life serving same service EMS away from me and my family because I'm very willing to pay my taxes to support that service. Please do not replace it with a for-profit private company. Thank you. As I close out the public comment, um, a lot of information, absolutely. As Mr. Um, Lacey, or Freeholder Lacey mentioned part of his opening comments, he talked about things must be done. And that as they're done, we have to work through it and civilly. I would expect nothing less than my department to be civil. <coughs> they are professionals, and I believe that. <coughs> he also sent some mixed messages, though, that we couldn't do it without us, and that we need to open things discussive and be open and honest. And I think, Mayor, you made a great statement of that. That is your keys to success, is communication, and I thank you for that. In my last statement to the committee, I had the opportunity to ask for a liaison, um, to be able to sit and understand your concerns. I've not had that opportunity, so I'm again asking today if I could, 
with Mr. Edwards, who's my boss, to sit and to understand those numbers that have been presented. I just recently got some of those numbers. Um, I have some questions, but I need to know who I can go to, or if it is Mr. Edwards, I'll be more than happy to do that. As Ms. Pentio mentioned at the, the OIG or the Office of Inspector General, she's absolutely correct that there is a, a, an opinion law that says that if you bring in a private service, um, there may be some costs. But I think that I can save those costs with making no changes other than some contractual and some things that I've already brought forward to you over the last year and a half. All I'm asking is that open communication, Mayor, to be able to save the jobs of the men and women that I work for. I believe in them. It's 30 years. It means a lot. So again, I'm asking for your permission to be able to speak to somebody as we move forward prior to making a decision on the bids that are due in a couple of weeks. Committee, thank you. Happy New Year.